The budget speech is proudly brought to you by Chartered Accountants South Africa. A CASA can help your business take off and rise above your tax headache. Find a CASA tax advisor in your area. Go to findacasa.co.za. Honorable members, better value for money in public service delivery depends on rigorous financial management effective systems, and an unrelenting fight against corruption. Supply chain management in the public sector is far from perfect. There are frequent allegations of corruption and inefficiencies. Against this background, the National Treasury has conducted a review of public sector supply chain management, drawing on the views and experience of government, business, and civil society. The review was published last month and is a candid re reflection of our current state of public sector procurement and the reforms that are needed and the opportunities that an efficient, transparent supply chain management system present. After consultation with the Minister of Basic Education, the following reforms are in progress just in that department. And thanks to Minister Mshekha for agreeing to be the first. All books delivered to schools from January 2016 will be managed through a centrally negotiated contract. With effect from May this year, all school building plans will be standardized and the cost of construction will be controlled by the Office of the Chief Procurement Officer. Honorable members, too often and for too long, we've paid too much for school building projects. Routine maintenance of school buildings and minor construction works will be decentralized, but this will be accompanied by measures to combat inefficiency and corruption at district and school levels. From April 2015, a central supplier database will be introduced. Suppliers will now only have to be required to register once when they do business with the state. This will significantly reduce the administrative burden for business, especially small and medium-sized enterprises. Here is an interesting part. This database will interface with SARS, with the company's intellectual property commission, and the payroll system. It will therefore it will therefore electronically verify a supplier's tax and BEE status gently. It will do doing business with easily. <clears throat> the intervention will also reduce administrative burden for SEM, SCM, the supply chain management practitioners, and address many of the concerns raised by the Auditor General every year. In close co collaboration with the State Information Technology Agency, a central e-tender portal will be implemented from April this year. It will be compulsory that all tenders be advertised on this portal. And all tender documents will be freely available there. Tender advertisements in newspapers and the government gazettes will be phased out. Malungo Ashon Pegile, Im Zamogahulmen Yogulan in Kosagalo. I saw the Apumele Luma Benz in Kosagalo, Benga Jesi, Sofuti, Benga Michelo in Dow in Paratini. In Kosagalo, Yepuka Banda Bampo into two or eighteen was Abe Balegile, in notice Islanzana, Lalababa Vele Futi Bell Zamban Gapon. Malunga Shan Pegile, Utatum Bimbi, Old Sangan Lum Kulugu, to Gubin Kosagali Pumele. Gako Gutinegum Bimbi, Old Bamsen, Ugulu Analysis Slav. Ukulmenige Abasa Benzi, no summer business can you parati, Kumeleba Bamsan, Uguba. A new approach to funding health and education, um, uh, education infrastructure in provinces was introduced in 2013. Following a two-year planning cycle, 
the 2015 stroke 16 allocations for the education infrastructure grant and the health facility revitalization grant reflect this new approach. On top of their base allocations, provinces that meet the minimum planning standard, standards have been rewarded for additional with additional allocations. For instance, the Eastern Cape receives an additional 233 million rands due to the quality of its plans for health and education infrastructure investment. We punish non-performance, we reward performance. Therefore, provinces that failed to meet the minimum standards will be prioritized for assistance through the ongoing infrastructure delivery improv improvement program. This allocation methodology will be expanded over the medium term expenditure framework period so that all provincial departments continuously improve their planning to be eligible to receive incentive allocations. A non-payment of suppliers on time is also another perennial problem that needs serious attention. This practice works against government's efforts to grow the economy and to develop small medium enterprises sector. Payment of suppliers within 30 days will from now on be included among other supply chain management requirements in the performance agreements of accounting officials.